All right, we're out here at uh, Peter and Diane Schofields. Um, they live in the Heights of Stone Oak. It's uh, literally like three minutes from my house. Um, but uh, we're doing some siding for them. So uh, siding in a door in back, we're gonna replace. It is a zero property line. These are beautiful homes here, kind of garden homes. Um, so there is a zero property line here. They have a real good relationship with their neighbors. So we just need to plan uh, as much as possible to the extent of letting Diane and Peter know um, when we would do paint this side. So meaning if we're gonna start here, if we're gonna end here, just so we can be considerate of the neighbor. She does have some dogs that run around. So we wanna make sure that uh, well, we give her, you know, all the heads up and, and notification possible so she can have the dogs running around or know when to bring them in or whatever. So this wall that you see right here is a zero lot. Um, so that's what we need to be considerate of really only 25 feet of it, 20, maybe 30 feet, is behind that wall. Everything else is forward of the wall, which we can paint, obviously no problem. So we're doing all the stucco. Um, there is a little atrium on this side. We're gonna do inside the atrium too, and there's one spot in there where we just need to patch, just silicone the stucco. Um, uh, again, not doing any stucco or mortar repair, just patching that area uh, inside of that atrium area. But we're not doing, they recently, I guess within a couple years, had the soffit and fascia painted. So we're not doing anything with gutters. We're basically doing uh, roof line, including the soffit down on the sidewalls. That's our scope of work. So that's what we're looking at, beautiful home. Um, and again, they're just looking to, to spruce it up a little bit with the paint work. So all the banding around the windows, that's of course all gonna be painted all inside the porch area. <clears throat> to include the porch ceiling will be painted. And we got one other area of porch ceiling around the right side. So you can see that. So the H molds will all call conceal and then we'll paint uh, as well as all the stucco inside here, up and down both sides. Um, we got this side. Got a couple gable tops here. So all three gable tops, including the one over the garage, will all be painted, including the vent. Uh, paint the facing here. We don't need to do anything with the garage door trim. I think that was recently painted on their last uh, little painting effort. Um, coming over here, we got this big wall. That's all gonna be painted. And just beautiful backyard. It's gorgeous. Here's that spa that's for sale. Really nice jacuzzi tub. Um, so uh, here, this entire area will all be painted, including the columns and the porch ceiling. So that will all be painted that same color. I put a picture of the color in company cam with the, co the color code. That's already been approved through the HOA. Um, and since they're not changing the color, it got approved very quickly. So that's the, what's going on in here. We're not painting the doors. We're leaving those alone. And painting this side around the glass block. And this wall here. So they did obviously some little cutout for a repair of probably the jacuzzi tub. Um, that's the other area that we just need to patch up some and uh, fill that in with some caulking um, as best we can, you know, so we don't see that as noticeably as we do right now, and then paint over it. Obviously, all the way back to here where you see the zero, zero lot line at the white fence, um, this entire wall, uh, of course, will be painted. We're doing this door as well. Uh, we're going to a full view glass with the blinds in between. Belleville, um, full replacement. <laughs> So all that brick mold around the exterior, the interior trim, the door, hinging, slab, threshold, jam, everything is going away. I'm gonna put it in new and on the door, we will paint the outside and the inside to match as they are now. The other uh, scope of the work is basically on the shed. So we were basically, if you see anything on the shed that's a one by four now, we're taking it off, replacing it with a hardy one by four. Um, and then painting just the trim, not the entire shed. <clears throat> um, so all this corner one by four, the rake ends that have this kind of pseudo one by four fascia, that's all coming off. 
<clears throat> and we're going to uh, replace that with Hardy 1x4. Um, on the doors, the perimeter, so we'll probably have to take off these hinges uh, on the perimeter. We're going to do that in Hardy 1x4. And then also on the door facing itself, we will put on Hardy 1x4. There's some rot down here uh, that you can see 90% of it is in the Hardy one or in the trim 1x4 trim now that's coming off. But there might be a little, looks like on that substrate board, it looks like some sort of insulation board um, that might need to be repaired and scabbed in a new piece of a substrate board as well down there. So that's part of what we're fixing. Again, corner one by four trim, <clears throat> excuse me, all windows that are wrapped in one by four now will receive a hardy one by four. And then the rake end or gable end fascia will be replaced with hardy one by four. And then here's the back wall. So again, just trimming out that window, corner trim, both sides up and down one by four. And that's it. Just painting the trim again that we're replacing, not the entire shed. And that's pretty much the extent of our scope of work. Um, definitely told them, you know, on our paint lead time, we could probably get the paint started, uh, you know, within probably the next four or five days on the door, obviously, since that's coming, uh, you know, fabricated. Uh, we're going to need the normal standard four to six lead, uh, four to six week lead time on that. But everything else, you know, they're pretty much ready to go with the painting. We've got the HOA's blessing and, uh, you know, we're ready to get going. But uh, Peter and Diane, very nice to meet you all both. I uh, really love doing business with my neighbors because I know uh, <laughs> the quality of work that we do is, is second to none. So I know you all will be happy and, uh, you know, love having happy neighbors. <laughs> so we thank you for the time. Thank you for the trust and confidence. And uh, we really look forward to doing a great job for you. If you need anything at all, please call me, text me. And uh, we look forward to working with you. Thank you.